Hey guys, um, it's Editing Victoria here. I just wanted to pop in and I guess apologize <laughs> for this video kind of being not super like, wow. Like, <laughs> I'm just doing a question and answer video, but I get tons of questions every day. Some of them are the same questions, so I thought I would just address it all in one video instead of replying the same thing to every single comment. So, yes, I know some of you are going to find this video not that entertaining, and that's totally fine. It's just to answer questions. Um, I also wanted to address why I am so low energy in this video. It's because school started, it, we're going into our third week of school, or I am anyway, so I'm a lot more tired. I have more things to do during the day. I'm a little bit more stressed, things like that. So yeah, sorry that I seem kind of tired and quiet. Um, and also sorry for the background noise. Um, Nova was sitting there playing with her toys while I was filming and I didn't realize that it would cause such a ruckus. <laughs> so yeah, so sorry about that. But regardless, I do hope you guys um, get something out of this video. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching and clicking and enjoy the video. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit more chill. I asked you guys to ask any questions you have on the community post um, a couple of weeks ago, so I'm just going to be answering questions from that. So if you have a question and you missed this round, don't worry, I'm gonna film a few more of these question and answer videos. I think it's just more personal and more fun to just talk to you guys than um, just replying to comments sometimes. And a lot of people have asked the same questions, so I figured I would just answer it all in this video. So yes, if you want to participate in the next question and answer video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do post every single Wednesday, um, but if you're subscribed, you'll also see my community posts. Uh, you can also follow Nova and I on Instagram. I'll have both of our handles right here on the screen. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I did write them down in this little notebook. And probably the most common question that I get every single day, probably five times a day, is what kind of dog is Nova or what breed is Nova? She is a Shorky. So she is half Shih Tzu, half Yorkie. And 100% adorable. Nova, come here. Come here. Here she is. My beautiful little baby. <laughs> so yes, she is a Shorky. Um, and the next question is, where did you get Nova? Um, a lot of people were asking me, like, what breeder, if I could leave a link, where did I look, things like that. So I'm basically going to be addressing where I got Nova um, and how to avoid scammers, everything like that. So basically, I got Nova just by looking on Kijiji, or I guess the US version is Craigslist. The family that Nova came from aren't actually breeders per se like they are they don't do it for a living they don't have a breeding company it was more of a happy accident with their personal dog um so yeah i can't really help you there for people asking for me to leave a link of where i got her exactly because they don't breed this was a one-time thing so yes i'm really sorry that i can't help you there um and I just wanted to talk about how to avoid scammers because I, you know, using Kijiji and things like that can be a little bit risky, but I definitely would suggest doing your research. If they claim to be a breeding company, do some research. They'll probably have like reviews or some kind of social media account and maybe you can get into contact with um, other puppy owners that got their dogs from that company, if that makes sense. Um, also, just looking out for red flags, such as them asking for a deposit right away of a really big amount. And if you can, you can go visit your dog or your potential dog 
and meet them before you put down a deposit or anything like that. Sometimes it's a little risky if they ask for a deposit before you even meet them. So yeah, just looking out for red flags like that for sure. Another question I get asked is why a breeder versus a rescue? Um, and I'm not going to go too much into this because I don't want to start any drama or make anybody feel bad for their choices or anything like that. I'm not judging you. I hope you're not judging me. Um, but I'd like to think Nova is kind of like a half rescue. So she's not from a breeding company per se. And if your dog is from a breeder, that is totally fine. I'm not shaming people who shop from breeders. Um, there's some really good breeders out there that really do care about their dogs. Um, and you just have to be careful because some people don't care and they take advantage of you and your money and you end up getting a sick puppy. But in the end, I think every dog deserves a loving family and a home. It doesn't matter to me where they come from. So that's all I'm going to say about it. But there's pros and cons to both that you can do your research on and make your own decision on how you want to get your dog. I also got asked the question, why did I choose a Shorky as a puppy? or the breed. Sorry if there's a background noise, Nova is right here playing with me. I knew that if I were to get a dog, I wanted it to be a small breed. Um, and luckily for me, my best friend Sandy has a Shorty as well that is turning three years old in December. So I kind of got some experience and first-hand experience <laughs> um, with her puppy and her dog there. Um, and Shorkies, I've always liked Yorkies, Yorkies are adorable, and I've also liked Shih Tzus. I just like any fluffy dog, really. Um, and I just got lucky and found little Miss Nova, who is the best of both worlds. Um, and she's also non-shedding, which was really important. Nova! <laughs> like I was saying, she is non-shedding, which is really important for me and my mom. Um, that was my mom's one condition. It had to be a dog that was non-shedding, so that just worked out really well. And that's all it really took for me. I just saw Nova. She was like one of the first dogs in the post, and I just fell in love with her, and that's how it was decided. <laughs> and then these next two questions do go together, and it is good and bad traits of Shorkies, and what is the hardest part of taking care of Nova? So Shorkies are well known to be very stubborn and they have big personalities in little bodies and I think that's definitely true. Um, as Nova gets older and her personality shines, she does show her stubbornness a little bit more. Sometimes she doesn't listen as often as she normally does. If she really wants something, if she really wants to play, um, and I'm trying to get her to come inside, sometimes she won't listen and come in, things like that. Um, but nothing that is out of hand and nothing that a little bit of training helps. Obviously, it's temperament as well, but um, it's not a big deal to me. Um, for the most part, she is an awesome little puppy. She definitely does have a personality. She thinks she's bigger than she is. She sometimes barks at people as they walk by, um, but not in a way to scare them away, more of she's excited and wants them to come up to her and play with her and talk to her. Um, whenever we go to the dog park, she always runs right up to the big dogs and wants to play with them. Hardest part of taking care of Nova, um, for me personally, I, I am really struggling with getting her to be potty trained. We have made a lot of progress. Um, I don't think I've talked about this just yet, but I've actually stopped using potty pads with her. Um, I just doing, after a little bit more research, I found that potty pads can be a little confusing for dogs. Like they may not get fully potty trained because they get confused. So I decided to stop using potty pads and now I'm trying to train her to go potty outside. And some days are a lot better than others. We have like one accident or no accidents and other days it's just crazy. And we'll have like four 
So yes, that's probably the hardest part for me right now, just getting her potty training under control. But I understand why it's kind of a struggle just because, you know, I was teaching her one thing, then I changed it and now I'm changing it back and she's got to forget everything she's already learned and relearn what she learned from the beginning, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of a struggle, but I'm sure with more consistency and time, it'll be all right. And yeah, sometimes she's a little stubborn, she doesn't listen um, when I try to train her, but for the most part, she is very smart. It's not that she doesn't know how to do it or um, anything like that, it's just more like, I don't want to. <laughs> so yeah, but other than that, she's a pretty awesome dog. We don't have struggles with separation anxiety, at least it's definitely reduced from a while ago. I've been working on that with her, with leaving her in her crate, with her crate training, things like that. So um, we're doing really well with that. Oh, something that is a little bit hard for me right now is um, trimming her nails, which I expected because it's something that I'm nervous for as well. Um, but I've been trying to desensitize her to um, me holding her paws, me trying to trim her nails, things like that. Uh, we're still working on it. I wish I did do a little bit more of that at the beginning. Um, she's totally fine with me like holding her paws, petting her, touching her face, touching her eyes, touching her mouth, her ears and things like that. But once I like go to brush her teeth or go to trim her nails or try to trim underneath her um, feet pads, it's it's a struggle for sure so yeah if i could go back in time i would definitely work on that a little bit more and try to desensitize her even more um but she is getting better she's a lot better with taking baths now which she used to be really scared of um same thing with paws like we're working on it she's getting better but it's still a hard thing for us. Those were the only questions I got about Nova. I did get a couple questions about me personally, so thank you so much for caring about me. Um, but these two questions I get asked all the time, um, but it's what camera do you use and what do you use to edit? I film with the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. I got it for Christmas last year and I love it. It's so easy to use. Um, perfect for vlogging, perfect for sit downs. It just, it's easy and it works, so I love it. And I use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. So yes, I used to use iMovie, but then I upgraded to Final Cut Pro and I love it. So yeah. And then the last question was just um, someone asking to talk a little bit about myself and my interests and hobbies outside of Nova. <laughs> None of you were here before I got Nova because that's when my channel really started to grow is when I started doing my dog vlogs but um, I absolutely love to read, I love to bake, I love music, I love photography. If you didn't know, I am a photographer as well or trying to become a full-time photographer um, but I do portraits, couples, engagements, things like that. So yeah, um, I do have a lot of hobbies, I will say, and I feel like I don't have one specific niche, um, but I think that's okay. I think it's fun to have a lot of different hobbies and to try, <laughs> to try new things and figure out what I like. Oh, hello! <laughs> Miss Nova wanted to join. Um, but yeah, if I'm not filming YouTube videos with this little munchkin, I'm I'm also in school. I'm in university. I'm in my fourth year, so I'll probably be studying or doing photo shoots with my clients or reading, listening to music, things like that. So yeah, that's a little bit about myself. I guess I can say a little bit more. I'm Victoria, if you're new here, there's over a thousand of us now, so that is absolutely mind boggling. But I'm Victoria, I'm 21 years old, I live in Alberta, Canada, and I'm an Aries. 
I'm a three on the Enneagram scale. <laughs> Sorry if that was awkward. I didn't really prepare a little spiel about myself, so it's a little rough around the edges, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out and lets me know if you enjoyed this kind of content. Do let me know in the comments below as well what types of videos you want to see from me in the future, doggy related or not. And be sure to subscribe as well. I post a new video every single Wednesday. I would absolutely love to post different types of content for you guys. Maybe some photography videos, some reading videos, fashion, lifestyle, things like that. Um, that aren't just dog vlogs because this wasn't meant to be a dog channel but I do love sharing my tips and tricks with you guys and my fellow puppy parents so I'm not going to be stopping that but I would love to come out with different types of content as well so please let me know in the comments what you would like to see from me. Oh hello! Without further ado I will see you guys next week for a new video. Bye! Say bye! Bye, guys.